Now we're going to show you how to do a stencil with the without stencil paint with regular fabric paint. Now, just like all great inventions, we found this out by mistake. The same, you have to take and and this is if you're going to use if you don't have the ability of cutting out a real stencil. This is a thick material like cardboard, which is not premier for doing stencils. Okay, then you take this, put it on there, okay, this again is for the regular fabric paint, not stencil spray. Okay. Then I take this for bleed through, so you don't, so it doesn't end up coming out on the back, and then really make it seem like you know what you're doing. You have this so you don't have a bunch of overspray on the rest of the shirt. Okay? Now, when you're going to do it with this with the fabric paint, it's important that you have a blotting rag and I'll show you why. Okay? Here we go. Ready? This one quick Take this, blot it up, because the fabric, the paint beads up on the uh, on the stencil pad. Okay. Are we are we ready? Ta-da! And that is how you do it with the fabric paint. Again, it's very important to blot it off because any extra that's on the stencil will get on the edges and bleed out and it'll look like a mess. So, success again and go out and have some fun with this stuff.